Why the South Seceded, Reflections of a Reconstructed Lost Causer Even after almost 160 years since North and South were blasting each other apart with steel and shot, there is still hot debate about exactly why. Why did the war happen? Because the South said, fuck the Feds, and made their own confederacy. The Fed said, hey, you can't do that. And uh, four years later, 600,000 of us were dead, making the American Revolution look like a drunken bar fight. But why did the South say fuck the Feds? Even that is still hotly debated. Was it really slavery, or was it something else, like states' rights or taxes? Why not just ask them? Why not ask the 1860s South? Why not hear it straight from the horse's mouth? And I promise that didn't rhyme on purpose. So why are you fighting this war? To protect my home from the Yankee invader. That's fair. Why are they invading? Well, hell if I know. Ask the damn Yankees. Why are you invading the South? Uh, to keep the United States united. Why did they... ununite? I don't know. Ask him. Why did you leave the United States? Because my state did. Because my home state did. Because my home state did. Because my heritage. Fuck the English. Fuck the English. Bloody Yankees are no better. Because Virginia is my home. Because a band of red-legged Bible thumping, jayhawking sunflower sons of bitches murdered my wife, beheaded my brothers and my father and my sons, and burned my home to the ground while I watched helplessly. Claiming their actions is the loosing of the fateful lightning of God's terrible swift sword. Jesus Christ, dude. And I will have my revenge. Well, because my home state did. Because my home state did. I caused my state did. So, why did they do that? Okay. Actually, we wrote that one down for you. This is crayon. Confederate dollars are worthless, I'm afraid. So, this is it, word for word. The uh, reasoning that the state legislators cite for leaving the Union and creating the Confederate States of America. Oh, yes sir, yes sir. Plain English, clear as the warm southern sun. All right then. South Carolina seems like a good place to start. It was the first state to secede. Let's see. People of the state of South Carolina in convention assembled on the 26th day of April, AD 1852, declared that the frequent violations of the Constitution of the United States by the federal government and its encroachments upon the reserve rights of the states fully justified this state in then withdrawing from the federal union. But in deference to the opinions and wishes of the other she forbore at that time to exercise this right. Since that time, these encroachments have continued to increase, and further forbearance ceases to be a virtue. All right. Well, that's um, that's just South Carolina. What about um, what about the other ones? Go on, read the other ones. People of Georgia have dissolved their political connection with the government of the United States of America, present to their Confederates and to the world the causes which have led to the separation. For the last ten years, we have had numerous and serious causes of complaint against our non slavery. Confederate states with reference to the subject of African slavery. Now I understand you yourself are a Texas boy. How do you know that? Oh, Texas, not you too. Go on, some. Read it. All right. 
Texas abandoned her separate national existence and consented to become one of the confederated union to promote her welfare, ensure domestic tranquility, and secure more substantially the blessings of peace and liberty to her people. She was received into the confederacy with her own constitution, under the guarantee of the federal constitution and the compact of annexation, that she should enjoy these blessings. She was received as a commonwealth holding, maintaining and protecting the institution known as Negro slavery, the servitude of the African to the white race. Within her limits, a relation that has existed from the first settlement of a wilderness by the white race, and which her people intended should still exist in all future time. Do I have to keep reading these? It is but just that we should declare the prominent reasons which have induced our course. Opposition is thoroughly identified with the institution of slavery, the greatest material interest of the world. Its labor supplies a product which constitutes by far the largest and most important portions of commerce on Earth. These products are peculiar to the climate verge on tropical regions, and by an imperious law of nature, none but the black race can bear exposure to the tropical sun. Okay. There, there, son. I think you can stop now. How do we reconcile this? Why did 600,000 American lives have to be tossed into the meat grinder of 19th century industrial warfare for, th for this? For this? That's a very good question, which I'm afraid I can't answer with absolute certainty. Sure, North had no right to invade the South. Sure, South had every right to defend itself from the Yankee invader. However, the South had no right to hold its fellow person in bondage simply because of the archaic and objectively false belief that the white man was superior to the black man. The United States had a lot of growing up to do. The Civil War was this country's most excruciating growing pain. And the scars it left are still felt to this very day. We must feel those scars, for they are a part of us. Keep that Confederate flag, keep that Confederate uniform in your closet, but do not use them as symbols of pride and defiance, but instead as reminders of the pain and necessity of self-growth. Are you talking to me personally or Southerners as a whole? You? Southerners? Everyone. Does our health insurance cover this type of therapy? Probably not. But I am just you dressed as a cheesy, zero-budget caricature of a southern legislator that you yourself are using for your own self-growth. The feds will find a way to tax it, I'm sure. If your motor vehicle don't sound like a shark, then you got a small penis. I'll make the rules. What if we ask the slaves? You know, seeing as how I'm your only actor, I'd prefer that we didn't do that. Yeah. Is my accent that obvious? Oh, I love black people. I got like... Tons of black friends. You know how many black friends I got? <laughs>